So we're now going to look at some of the getters that are available to us within Carbon. And by getters, I mean uh, basically being able to get certain parts of our current date uh, in a way that we want. So in the last video, we looked at doing something like C format, and then we could pass in, say, D to go ahead and grab the date out or the day, sorry. So that would be 14. So notice here I'm using the static now method, which is get, just getting today's date and time. So this is a little bit annoying if, say, for example, we just wanted to get the day out. But we don't have to do this if we just want the day or the year or the month, hour, minute, second or timestamp. We can use our getters. So, for example, the current year is 2015. And all I need to do here is use the year getter much easier than using format. So when I go ahead and refresh, you see 2015. We can obviously do the same for things like the minute. So we can go ahead and see that. So you can grab parts of your date that you need uh, if that's cleaner uh, in terms of how you want to use this. Now we also have interesting things like timestamp, which is really useful. So if you wanted to grab the timestamp for the current date, you can see that that's been output. And obviously when we refresh, you can see that updating. So even more interesting are things like day of week. So let's take a look at this. If I refresh, you can see two. Now it just so happens that today is Tuesday. So we know that two would be Tuesday because one would be Monday, three would be Wednesday and so on. So this allows us to get the current day of the week in terms of one through to seven. Now we can also do things like day of year, which could be useful. So it's currently the 103rd day of the current year. And we can do things like quarter as well. So if we take a look at this, we can see that we're in the second quarter. So currently in April. What we can also do though is really interestingly, things like age. So let's go ahead and get rid of this whole thing here. Let's say we wanted to work out a user's age. This is extremely simple. All we do is we create a new carbon instance here and we pass in a date of birth. So for example, 16th of November, 1989. If you wanted to find out the age of this date of birth, so obviously this can be any format. So if you're passing it into your application like this, 1989, uh, 11, 16, this will work too. So let's just run with this example. So let's just do a var dump on C just to make sure we understand what we're working with here. And you can see that we've got 1989, 11, 16. So we know that this is correct. So all I need to do now is go ahead and echo C age. So this getter here, will get the age of this compared to the current date and time. So if I refresh, you see 25. This in fact is my date of birth and I am 25. So I know that this is accurate. So this will obviously work with times as well. So if you want to be really, really specific, you can go ahead and use time. So it's extremely accurate. So in this video, we've looked at some of the getters available in Carbon, which, as you can imagine, would be really useful if you want to work with parts of the date or more interestingly, things like the day of the week, day of the year, uh, the week of the year as well we can use and things like quarter. And then finally, we finished off with an example age, which is uh, probably very, very useful and uh, a cool example of what Carbon can actually do and how powerful it is.